The Swiss scientists who conducted tests on samples taken from Yasser Arafat's body believed that the Palestinian leader was poisoned. They have found at least 18 times the normal levels of radioactive polonium in his remains. First, they found abnormally high amounts of polonium-210 in Yasser Arafat's clothes. Now, they've discovered a high presence of the radioactive substance inside his bones. Swiss scientists produced this 108-page report after an exhumation of Arafat's body last November. The scientists say their data clearly favors polonium poisoning of Palestine's historic leader with up to 83% confidence. The Arafat family received the results from their lawyer along with an analysis from Professor of Forensic Science, David Barkley. If I was a judge and jury, this is absolutely stone cold certain. Um, this is beyond any doubt, in my opinion, that it was polonium that caused the death of Yasser Arafat. For widow and daughter, it is 100% proof. When they came with the results, a morning Yasser again, you know, as you told me, he just died. I will not stop. Me and my daughter will go to all courts in all over the world to punish who did this crime. Now that I have proof that he was poisoned, I feel a bit relieved. I feel relieved actually. A final closure for me will be knowing who killed him and the motive and the ambition behind it. More than 40 years of research have given scientists knowledge of the average levels of polonium and radioactive lead in human skeletons. But what was found in Arafat's ribs and hips was the highest ever published. And everybody has a very tiny amount of polonium in their bones. The level of polonium in uh, Yasser Arafat is about 900 millibecquerels. That is either uh, 18 or 36 times the average, depending on the literature. What's more, the soil around his body had absorbed his decaying flesh and organs. That soil also measured at least 18 times higher than earth not visibly stained. The report rules out any external contamination, and it confirms through DNA testing that the skeleton was definitely Arafat's. On a scale of confidence, 1 to 6, 6 being strongly confident, the scientists say the data support poisoning at level 5. These results confirm a theory of polonium poisoning first put forward last year. Then, the same Swiss scientists found that Arafat's blood and urine stains were strongly contaminated with polonium-210, including polonium in its purest reactor-made form. They were lifted from the stained clothes the Palestinian leader wore in his final days. But this latest test was on Arafat's flesh and bones, buried in Ramallah since his death in 2004. The samples were gathered when his body was unearthed in November last year. Three teams took 20 samples each. Al Jazeera has released the Swiss team's results. A Russian team also carried out tests after a last-minute invite from the Palestinian Authority. Their results have not yet been made public. And there was a team in France. The French results remain a secret, but as three investigating magistrates continue with the murder inquiry, they now have new evidence. And the looming question beyond all of this is whether the Palestinian Authority shifts the case to the International Criminal Court. Perhaps then Miss Arafat and her daughter will finally see suspects brought to trial and learn once and for all not just what killed Yasser Arafat, but who. Clayton Swisher, Al Jazeera, Paris.